going on everybody? Happy Wednesday, December 28th. I am currently recording on my new Sony RX100 Mark V. I just picked up this camera like two days ago and the reason that I picked it up was because I heard that it had 4K and it was really good in autofocus, which is really important when you're vlogging because I was currently well, I was previously using the Canon G7X, which is an amazing camera, but this autofocus is just that much faster, and sometimes on the Canon G7X, I had to, like, wait a second for it to focus on my face, whereas the Mark II, of course, is, like, a little bit faster, but I wanted to try out the Sony and see what I thought about it, so today I'm going to be going throughout my daily vlog, like, my day, and I'm going to be going back and forth recording on both cameras. So here I have the Canon G7X, and I'm actually going to turn it on right now and we're going to be comparing the two cameras like throughout the day and their performance and stuff like that so I want you guys to comment down below and let me know what you think um, maybe this can help somebody out there that is trying to compare the two cameras I know that I spent I spent literally weeks well like two weeks comparing the Sony um, to the Canon and then I decided just to like get it and try it out myself so what I'm seeing right now is the Canon is really good at backlighting and like lighting up my face. I am standing right in front of a window, but um, it just, the screen looks a lot lighter in the Canon. And it does have a lot of red undertones, I've noticed. So I'm backing away from the window. Personally, I think that the... Sony is like more real life quality. I'm not sure if that makes sense. Whereas like the Canon is amazing, but I find that it's like a little bit different, like almost animated. I don't know if that makes sense. Okay, so let's do a test when we're walking into a dark room. So right now the, the light is behind me. Again, the Canon is really good at backlight. I'm walking into my living room pretty dark in here see yeah the Canon's really good at the backlighting so that's one really good thing about it now I'm walking towards the window again yeah we can just see how much more light the screen gets now what about with the window behind me getting further away Yeah, the Canon picks up right away. All right, so we there we go. The Sony tunes in. Okay, so we can tell already that that's one of the pluses, which I did know about, that the Canon is really good at backlighting. So there is one test, and uh, my arms are going to get sore today. <laughs> I'm just going to go throughout my regular day and compare some of the two sometimes. But the main camera that I'm going to be filming on throughout the day is going to be the Sony. So make sure that you guys comment down below and let me know which one you like better and why. So let's get this day started. All right, now we are in the car. So there is natural light from outside and the difference between the two, as you guys can see, is that the Canon does pull a lot more red. So, how do you guys feel about that? I don't know. Detail. They're both really good, but something about the Sony is just more real life, I find. Like these eyelashes. I don't know. Let's go. <laughs> Steaming my face. Does it smell like cookies at all? It does. It smells really good. It smells like it's vanilla. Oh, okay. All right, so now I am outside and the sun is behind me. I wanted to show you guys the audio and how it is outdoors don't mind my crazy hair and how it is when I'm walking okay and I wanted to show you guys the stabilization when I am walking so I'm walking pretty fast right now but when I'm running okay 
How's the audio on the cannon? It is a little bit windy outside today, so this will be a good example. And how is the audio on this Sony? It's getting chilly out here. All right. Oh, right. So what you guys just saw was the Sony performing in low lighting conditions during my facial, which I absolutely loved. Now I'm going to sit at home and the sun is going to set. I'm going to do some work and the sun is going to set in about three hours. And I will show you guys what the cameras perform like at night um, as far as backlight goes and stuff like that and how the picture looks when it's completely dark outside so i will show you guys that and then you can make your final decision i'm really torn i don't know which one i like best they're both running very well and yeah when this video is done make sure that you guys comment down below with your final decision so how's the Pretty good, okay. One of the options with the Sony camera is that this little screen bends down like that and it bends out, which is different. Um, it does feel a little bit more fragile when you do that than the Canon does, just because the Canon, um, it doesn't go both ways. So it just feels like it's more sturdy. So this one can actually go, oh, it can't go all the way down. That's about as far as it can go. If you're like trying to like get footage up top, you can be looking at the screen still instead of having it just completely straight. And the Canon just, it's really sturdy, which is what I like about this one. It feels a lot safer than the Sony to be honest, and that just flips up, just like that. What's going on guys? It is 5.30 p.m. and it is pretty dark outside. As you can see, that is the uh, light from the street light and the blinds on my face. So I'll shut the blinds now. This is the quality with the Sony RX100 Mark V. I just have a desk light lamp on over there and another little lamp here that is for like candles so that you don't have to actually have it lit so just two little lights in my room at the moment i am going to check in with you from the sony sorry the canon as well looks like the sony is having a hard time focusing and picking me up at this moment yeah it's having a hard time picking me up so Excuse me when I look at the screen because I need to like make sure that It's picking up what I want it to and here we have the Canon G7X So as you can see as we've known this whole time the Canon is just that much better with picking up backlight and making the screen brighter so This is the difference. This is the comparison facing the complete dark. This is the difference. There we go. I will also go outside and show you guys what it looks like out there with the two cameras. And then I think that we are going to be ending this vlog, wrapping it up. You guys can let me know which one you like better. Okay, 
for our last exercise of the day. I'm going from inside where it is obviously fairly lit and we can see a little bit of a red undertone in the cannon right now. And now I'm going to be walking outside. It's cold out there. We're gonna do it for the vlog. Okay. No lights on out here. So the only light on right now is the Christmas tree and I figured that that would give a good idea of the lighting as well. And there we have it. What's going on with the Sony? Okay. So that is going to wrap up today's vlog, the day in the life, and the comparison of the two cameras, the Sony RX100 Mark V and the Canon G7X. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to show your support by giving the video a thumbs up if you did, and hit that subscribe button to see more. Comment down below which camera you guys prefer, and I'll see you in tomorrow's vlog.